Hello everyone and thank you for watching this quick video on parts markup. So to set up your parts matrix or matrices, first you want to navigate down to shop settings. Once here, navigate four tabs over to markups. And then this first section, notice this is where your parts matrix lives. And you can have several, as many matrices as you need. Currently I have a general matrix, 60% employee European or OEM and sensor. Now notice there's a star next to the general matrix because this is my default matrix. And I have it auto applied. Meaning if I buy any part, it's going to run it through this parts matrix and help me mark it up. So I don't forget to mark it up so we can stay profitable. Now, if I buy a part that's $4, we're going to mark it up by 80% gross profit or 400% markup or multiply it by five times. If I buy a part that's $175, I'm going to mark it up by 60% gross profit. Now to set up your own part matrix, come down here and hit add parts matrix. And then you want a title. That way you can pick and choose when you're building jobs and shopping for parts. We want to stay profitable. So down below your end cost, think about this. If you buy a part that's zero to $10, how do you want to mark it up? Maybe I want to mark it up by nine times, or I want to be at 88% gross profit or 800% markup. I like round numbers, so let's just make it 90% gross profit. Now, I'm going to add a range. I'm going to add a few of them. So thinking about this, so $10 to $25, and then $25 to $50, maybe $50 to $75, and then $75 to $100. The bottom will be $100 to maximum, however much it might be. Now, marking up our parts, let's say if I buy a part that's under $25, I want to be at 80%. If I buy a part that's under $50, maybe I want to be at 75%. If I buy a part that's $75, I want to be at 70%. And then 100 is really my sweet spot. A lot of parts are typically about this price. Let's say I want to be at 60% on this one. So I'll be mark, multiplying it by 2.5 or I'll mark it up by 150%. And the maximum will be at 50. This can always be adjusted. Remember, if you're buying that transmission, it's going to be expensive. There's no way you're going to get 60% or even 50% on it. It can always be changed and manipulated to sell the job. Now, once you have your parts matrix set up, I'm going to hit Save Matrix. And then I can make this brand new matrix, my default matrix, and I can also auto apply it. That way any part that I buy is going to run through this parts matrix. Now, if you've got a matrix that just isn't working for you, you can reevaluate and delete it or update it, configure it again, change up some of those numbers. Now there is another tool here up top. You have a choice to use a flat rate markup. Here it's a percentage. So be careful, 150% markup is 60% gross profit. If you throw 60% in here trying to get 60% GP, it's not going to happen. This is more about 30%. There's another tool here. If you hit the drop down, it's called fixed. Fairly easy. If you buy a $100 part, it's going to mark it up to $120. That's it, guys. That's your parts markups. Go crazy. Have a great day. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with the rest of your team. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to see more helpful videos for auto repair shops. Have a wonderful day.